it's time for another installment of Following Fate Street, the show that knows the difference between Oxygen Thief and Pothole. In this episode, Louise said this. Controversial. Oh, Cece wore this. And Danny said this. Oh, under pressure. I'm not. Louise takes time out of her busy schedule of scouting her bands during the day to meet her friends for lunch. It's a chance for Danny and Louise to catch up, and it's clear their bond is as strong and beautiful as ever. Always moaning, aren't you? Ah, friends. Louise is convinced that Danny can help her get some henna tattoos for her upcoming event, which could be a problem. We don't really do henna, to be honest. Like, you could, though. I mean, it must be easy enough to do. Well, no, henna's completely different, like. Oh, yeah, but as Louise said, you could ask the lads and... There's no henna <laughs> tattoos. Okay, I'm just saying, relax. We catch up with Roz and Cece, who's deep, deep down the rabbit hole of DJing. She's in the studio learning about mixing and tractor and combine harvester and hay and deep house and all that stuff. I don't even know what that is. Neither do we, Roz. Neither do we. We loved Cece and Roz's chat, but what you didn't see was when Roz called Cece for some DJ advice. Hello, Cece, it's me, Roz. What are you calling about? I'm just ringing out for some advice on DJing. So it's like really simple, Ross. You've got your new Mark Dex, your Pioneers, your good pair of cans, some acid house driven, garage, two way, funky chill out, dubstep bangers, and you've got the gist of a start of a good DJ set. Oh, that sounds awful complicated. Back where I'm from, down to local disco, you'd be lucky to hear some steps in between all the Kaylee music. It's mad. Maybe if I had a go your tractor thing. I'm not letting you near my tractor thing, Ross. Do you think I became the queen of Dublin nightlife just by having great dress sense, a can-do attitude and a knack for bubbling smokes? No, I became the queen of Dublin nightlife by having great taste and being really modest. You need to work on that, Roz. No offence. Oh no, no offence taken. I knew it all this stuff anyway. Come here, I'd better go. I've one of the maddling things with Donald Trump now in a minute. I'm up to me eyes. This maddling thing is cracked. It's mad. Tell me about it, babes. I've got six shoots tonight, three DJ gigs, a meal with my mates, a column to write for the Dubliner, and a hundred cigarettes to smoke. I'm having a stress fit just thinking about it. Oh, Jesus, Cece, that sounds mental. I know, it's mental. I better go, I'm so stressed. Talk to you later. Bye! Bye. Oh, sugar. What am I going to do? Oh, the thrill of DJ chatter. It's not long before the Dublin Inc. party kicks off, and Louise has a run-in with someone special. How's it going, Louise? Oh my god, hi! Louise and Paul together, this is amazing. There is nothing to dislike about this moment. Louise is full of charm as ever, and asks Paul about work. Still a fisherman? Yeah, yeah, man. A fisherman? We thought Paul pushed people around to festivals and told them to F off professionally. We didn't think he was out in the high seas, fighting Moby Dick and Jaws, or whatever it is that fishermen do for a living. We well, definitely showered tonight. <laughs> you don't smell. Still, it's all about Danny's chat with Paul. The pair of a run-in, and it's clear there's a lot of sexual tension between them, and so much to say. The conversation flows thick and fast. But ultimately, Danny decides that they should just be friends, but not before calling Paul. A weird little man, Paul. Weird little man. Which is a bit harsh. And that's it. It's time for me to say goodbye. We'll be back soon for one more installment of Following Fairy Street. Please join us then. It's going to be very emotional. Shut up, that's awesome. That's awesome.